SOCOM US Navy SEALs is a military action strategy game in which you play a team of SEAL special forces that goes out and has to rid the world of terrorism. I think it differs from some of the other action games that are out there. Uh, in terms of the degree, it depends on, on real-life strategies used by the special forces and the fact that uh, it depends so much on team play as opposed to individual play. I think the important part of SOCOM is the fact that it's not just a run-and-gun, shoot, shoot 'em up style game. It's actually about you and your Navy SEAL team of four uh, going carefully through an environment in performing objectives to fulfill a mission. So rather than typical run around and shoot everything, it's really half about stealth. The way the Navy SEALs tend to operate is that they want to be stealthy for as long as they can, and then when they get to their objectives, they try to accomplish it as quick as possible. SOCOM was created in cooperation with U.S. Navy Special Warfare Command. It was really important to the Navy that if we were going to create a game based on the U.S. Navy SEALs that we would create an authentic experience. One of the most rewarding aspects of the game has been able to work directly with the SEAL teams. Uh, we've been fortunate in terms of having the cooperation from the Admiral on down and have had uh, a wide range of access uh, to the SEAL resources. We have a small block of C4 we're going to be using. It's double cap, double primed. Um, six minute time fuse. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. We've had access to a number of people on the teams to ask technical questions. What I would do is uh, I may have it uh, rigged a different way. Okay. Why normally, you know, I might have it attached to my web here. We've used seals and motion capture work. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty good. Seal FP walk. Ready. Go. This is like the raw milk cap data. I just grabbed just the part of the uh, move that's actually going to go into the game. They allowed us access to certain things in order to help the authenticity, like uh, having us record real weapons on their weapon ranges. We've gone, I think, to a new level as far as simulating the material properties in the game and how they react to weapons. They're fairly accurate with respect to range and accuracy settings, penetration through different types of materials. Drywall. Bottles. So if you go into a world and there's some flimsy wooden crate or something, it's really not a great idea to go hide behind that because obviously certain weapons would go right through that. We have had SEALs come in and reservists, which we've used for face scans, which have found their way with camouflage on them, which of course helps this guy's identity. We actually have the, the uh, SEAL faces on characters in the game. So it's fairly accurate and sort of amazing to think about, wow, this really makes the game feel real. The lighting in SOCOM isn't just there to be pretty. Shadow equals cover, while bright light equals exposure. So the beginning player will very quickly learn that staying in the shadows is a good thing because enemies don't see you as often. One of the really cool things about the lighting in SOCOM is that you can manufacture your own darkness by shooting out lights in the environment as you move through it. So you may walk into a building, and if there's a bunch of enemies in there, you may decide that the right play is to get out a silence weapon, blow out all the light so it basically goes nearly pitch dark, then enemies won't see you and then you'll put on your night vision goggles to amplify the light and then you'll get a real advantage over the enemies and can run around and, and shoot them. Because our engine was really developed to try to support gameplay, um, when we started working with the Navy SEALs, we found out that really they, they do a lot of stealth navigation through an environment. And so the clutter was there to support the fact that they need a lot of cover and concealment. So if we want to fill up a valley with very tall grass, 
we do that. And all this clutter can actually hide multiple characters, but it can also be animated, like the grass can be blowing in the wind, for instance. When you combine this with shadow, suddenly you have characters who are very nearly invisible to the enemy until they choose to reveal themselves by sudden movement. And this is very like what the seals do in the real world. They're completely invisible to the enemy until it's too late. I think some of the uh, early games out on the PlayStation 2 um, didn't really investigate all the different ways you can actually accomplish anti-aliasing uh, to smooth out the jaggies. We actually blend multiple lines of the frame buffer, so we basically eliminate the jaggy look. Um, it makes it really nice and smooth, so you don't have anything detracting from the game with, with edges crawling around. Because we have very large worlds that need to be textured as well as enemy players and our own SEAL team, we really wanted to be able to have fine, detailed textures. To accomplish that, we came up with a dynamic texture mapping capability where we store textures in the the system memory, so when you zoom in on a face or a, an enemy, you don't see a blurry mess of a player. It's basically very detailed. You can see little details on their shirts, little blood spots. If you actually have shot them a few times, you'll see the blood where it's hit um, on the player. So it's just real nice detail on the environment as well as the world. One of the innovative things about SOCOM is that you can use a USB headset, which is packaged with the game, to command your teammates and have them complete objectives for you or to perform specific actions. Team hold position. You can tell them to move to any place you want, or you can have them take up sniper positions or place demolition charges. Able, deploy frag. Or you might say, bravo, uh, stealth to target. And that will tell the bravo team to actually in a sneaky way, go to a certain place that you've instructed them. And it actually uh, really immerses you in the game because you're actually talking to these guys now and they're, and they're you know, following your instructions and they give you audio feedback as well. Right, we'll take it from here. We checked out a lot of uh, speech recognition systems and I think the one that we found actually uh, is really quite good. I mean, I, basically it's, it's a system that doesn't need to be trained. Able, follow. I think it's in the high 90% uh, recognition rate. I have no problems with it. And in multiplayer, the headset is used for voice chat. Hey, Newt, don't cross the water. You won't make it across. Oh. oh! Dead man walking. Because it is a team game, it really adds another interesting level to the game, the fact that you can actually plan and talk to your players. Watch the sniper. Eric, where's the sniper? Hacker, they need a target. They're bunkered up in the sniper tower. They got a 16 gunner down below. He scoped. He's down. Nice shot. All right, boys, we're out of here. I think we're doing a lot of things that haven't been done before. We have this dynamic route planning. So when, when the enemies decide they need to get to a certain location, they won't just go through scripted paths. So as they're running along, they will say, OK, I'm here. Where's, my, where's the enemy team? And they actually will try to find places where they won't be seen as well. Another part of the game is um, when you are trying to stay stealthy, you may decide to use your silenced weapons as long as possible. Uh, but even though you kill them with your silenced weapons and you leave bodies out there, those actually leave traces that the SEALs have been there. So for this reason, we've given you the ability to actually pick up and remove corpses from the field then you can hide them in shadow or in camouflage in grass or foliage. There's basically five awareness levels and all of the enemies, with a few exceptions, start it. You know, they're generally unaware. They're just going about their duties, whether it be patrolling or just kind of hanging out. If they hear a noise or something, then they get their awareness uh, raised basically one notch to a suspicious state. And then beyond that, then there's a general awareness, directional awareness, and then the full one is specific awareness, where they really know where you're at. And then if they lose sight of you, then they'll basically hunt in that direction for you, again, trying to anticipate where you've gone. So once you've set 
them into an alarm state, your chances of survival diminish by the minute because one alarmed enemy will tell his friends who will tell his friends who will tell his friends and pretty soon you have an entire army against you. I think we've gone a long ways for a console game. It's a team game, so there's basically team styles of play. Uh, it, it's broadband support, um, so we can have up to 16 players, up to eight on eight um, for team style of games. For multiplayer, there's eight additional uh, unique multiplayer worlds, and in those multiplayer worlds, there's different types of games you can play. One is a demolition style team game. There's a hostage extract game and a team deathmatch. We have clan support, so you can have kind of some of the nice community aspects of online games where you can actually become a leader of a clan, you know, go pick your favorite players, put together different clans. Then you can send out challenges to other clans and, and meet in a room and go play your, your various games and, and you know, see who's the best clan. Ok, c'est parti. Chef, on reste à allonger, on peut repérer les tangos d'ici. Bravo, feu à volonté. Oui, chef. Bataillon, courir zone. Et neutralisé. Bataillon, allez furtivement à l'écho. J'y vais. Ennemi en vue, 12 heures. 
Bataillon, déployez la grenade. Yeah. Élément déployé. Ah. Ennemi en vue, 3 heures. Bataillon, en buscade. Voilà un blessé. Terroriste victorieux. Ok les gars, suivez-moi. Baissez-vous. Je suis prête. On y va. Il nous tire dessus. On nous attaque. Protégez le tas. Je suis touché. Grenade. A l'aise, aidez-moi Les terroristes, c'est l'entente. On va pas être passé. Wow, c'est pas mal. Pas si bon que ça, peu à volonté. Allez, on peut le faire. Débarrassez-vous de lui. Je t'ai eu. Ah! Get your ass, get your ass! 